Hi everyone, I'm Miss Black Gold and I have Chandler here and we have a Dollar Tree haul for you. Um, I went past Fort Washington, Maryland, Dollar Tree and I can't remember the other Dollar Tree because it was over a week ago. But I did go past Fort Washington today. So I just wanted to go ahead and show you these items so I can get them put away. Chandler's going to help me out today. So we're going to start with all food. So you grab food items for me. Let me show this first. All right, so this is the late July bacon habanero. These are a organic yellow corn tortilla chip. It had a best before date on there of September 24th, 2020, right down there. Hmm? It was bad. What was bad? Oh, <laughs> he telling me the taste was bad. He did not like these. My oldest two like these. The middle on the um, oldest one, they ate these up. It is gone. I didn't enjoy it either. So for Chandler and I, it was a no. But for the other two boys, they enjoyed it. These are vegan and kosher, non-GMO, gluten-free, 100% whole grain, um, does not process peanuts. They got all of that on the back of there. So just so you know. Charms, excuse me, Charms Fluffy Stuff. Uh, what does that say on the front, Chandler? What type of cotton candy is that? It says, Puffy stuff, rainbow sherbet, cotton candy. Okay, so yeah. this says new rainbow sherbet cotton candy. Check that out. And oh, I'm sorry, I always love to give y'all details about these products. This late July was a 5.5 ounce bag. I remember when um, I saw somebody haul it, I thought it was like the regular big bag. It's not, it's not the regular big size bag. Um, that's 5.5 ounces. So getting back to the charms fluffy stuff, this is 2.1 ounces there. And let's see, it does have a best buy date of November 2021, down there on the bottom. But I haven't tried this yet, I know some of you probably have, so how does the rainbow sherbet cotton candy taste? That is a bag of Celia's, you can go ahead and hold it up a little bit more. Celia's popcorn. Let me see exactly what type, if it says so. It doesn't, it just says Celia's Popcorn. I, w I wasn't sure um, if it had more of a description on it. It does have a best buy date of May 5th, 2022 on the bag. And this is one pound, yep. One pound of popcorn, 16 ounces. I compared this to the Jiffy Time that they have in the Dollar Tree. And we've been recently getting these Celia's products at the Dollar Tree. We've had the Celia's Split Peas and other type of beans in the bag. So now they have the popcorn too. The Velveeta cheese sauce, and that is in the jalapeno. And my oldest loves this jalapeno. Um, it is four ounces net weight. And let's see, any best buy on this? I'm not really seeing it. Oh yeah, it is imprinted on the side because I, I bought two of them. It's imprinted on the side and it actually says, I would be lying if, oh, I can see it, October 9th, 2020. Yeah, let me see if I hold it up close. Right there, October 9th, 2020. So that's where you can check when you go into the Dollar Tree to see if the products you're buying don't have a Best Buy date that they've already paid. Haritos, and I was glad that Fort Washington had this because not every Dollar Tree carries these. Um, or at least I don't see them a lot of times in the Dollar Trees that are closer to me. And Fort Washington, Maryland is quite a way, uh, quite of a way away from me. So quite a ways, is that how you say it? But Haritos Mandarin and Haritos Tamarind, these are both 25.4 fluid ounces. High Fits Fresh Pack Mild Banana Pepper Rings, 24 fluid ounces. I have been eating these on my um, sandwiches and I love them. They are so good. There is a sell-by date of March 2021. This is where it's found. Supreme Tradition Seasoning Salt. And this is a bigger size. If you all notice, this is a much bigger than like some of the other sizes we get of seasonings at the Dollar Tree. Um, this is how many ounces? That is 16 ounces, one pound. So I love this seasoning salt. I have no complaints at all about this good old seasoning salt. Um, I would purchase this over and over and over again. I just literally ran out of this, so I needed some more. The Badia Sriracha Salt. And on the top there, it says Best Buy June 
2025. Hold that up right there. Maybe they can see that as we get closer. There we go. And I really am not a fan of sriracha. Um, I think I may have tried some sriracha one day that was just too hot. And I never purchased anything really sriracha again. I don't buy sriracha sauce. So my girlfriend told me she makes salmon all the time with sriracha and honey. And I said, that might taste good. So I thought the sriracha salt may be a lighter way of um, using sriracha. So we'll see. So I bought the small container, which is 3.5 ounces. The Jim Dandy grits. This is the Jim Dandy quick five minute grits. And these are good. I've enjoyed these. And one reason I shop at Four Washington is because they usually have a lot of stuff that might be gone from the Dollar Tree that draw the trees, excuse me, that are around me. But when I go out to Fort Washington, I don't know if they just, they get some of the items later they or they either put some of the items out later like they're just on a later cycle um but i love it because i can usually go in there and find stuff that i'm looking for that is not going to be found again in a dollar tree by me so let me tell you this is best if used by november 12th 2020 is that november yeah november 12th 2020 you can see it right there and those are the Jim Dandy Quick 5 Minute Grits and Rich Tortilleria Del Barrio Fresh and Soft 1 pound of 12 flour tortillas. So let me tell you what we do with these. Like we just don't use these when we're doing tacos. I now have been using these a lot for breakfast. Um, I will, and I saw, uh, it was on Netflix. There's a, a young lady with a cooking show on Netflix. And I saw her one morning do the eggs and um, cut up whatever veggies she wanted and cheese and then she slapped one of these tortillas on top of well not this brand but she slapped the tortilla on top of that little egg con concoction and I, that's what I've been doing ever since um, usually ours is just egg and cheese I haven't gotten fancy with adding vegetables because I'm making these egg tortillas for the kids but they just come out perfect you literally flip it out of the pan and roll that tortilla and egg and cheese up the kids have been enjoying it. But these uh, do say July 5th, 2020. I always do that with y'all. I discover that I buy something that has a date that literally tomorrow. It's the McCormick. Let's see, that's the beef stew. It says with herbs and onions. Um, this is nine ounces. Let me see your best buy on here. I know it has to have one. I'm just not picking up on it. Oh, right down at the bottom, Best Buy, February 27th, 2021, right down here on the bottom. So I will be trying this. I will be looking for some beef stew pretty soon. So we can give that a try. I did, I did cook the bourbon chicken. The bourbon chicken was good. They enjoyed it. Had the bourbon chicken with uh, some veggies and over rice. Okay, uh, another one. McCormick Grillmate Steakhouse Burgers Sauce Mix-Ins. And that's Southwest Chipotle. Um, 2.83 ounces. So this is a little bit smaller than this because this is 9 ounces, as you see. And then the best buy date on this is October 21st, 2020. Very, very, very tiny right there. But this, can't wait to try this in burgers. See how that is. And look, I got the pepper jack cheese on there, just like how we eat our burgers with pepper jack cheese. I have seen Anna from Only In My Dreams haul this so much. And I was like, we're going to try this. I mean, my kids pretty much like, they love Mexican food. Um, so I just figured, why not try the Hormel tamales, chicken and chili sauce. No artificial ingre ingredients, 99% fat free. This is a 15 ounce can. And if they look like this when they come out the can, that's how I warm these up. Maybe even sprinkle a little seasoning on, on them if that's necessary. Look, they, they tell you, put it in a casserole dish and sprinkle some cheese on it. They'll, I know they'll eat it with sour cream, so why not? Give it a try. Um, it says, best buy date is, oh, that's a hard one, tw February 2023. So why not? And actually, if this is real chicky, chicken, I have been definitely, it says, yep, separated chicken. I have been definitely considering, like I buy, I've been buying tuna, um, sardines, chicken breast, uh, canned salmon, things that, God forbid, we don't want it to happen. But if the grocery store was to ever close down, um, 
I'm like trying to have things that I know we can eat and I can warm up that are meat. And so this is not a bad idea at all. I know Anna does her prepping. I may need to start watching some more of those prepping videos. Somebody got bored with me. Oh well. Champion Jumbo Raisin Medley. 3.5 ounce box of raisins. Um, and so they have some of the golden raisins, which I love in here. And I thought I'd give these a try. They do say non-GMO, gluten-free, a fat and cholesterol-free food. Um, doesn't feel like a lot. And again, being that it's just 3.5 ounces, it does tell you you'll get about 2.5 servings out of there. But the kids love raisins, and I especially love golden raisins. I love to cook my sweet bread with those, with golden raisins. And this is Manwich Original Sloppy Joe Sauce, 15 ounces. I just... I mean, we eat Sloppy Joe's here. And you know what was weird to me? I've had a couple girlfriends tell me now that they cannot get their kids to eat Sloppy Joe's. I just thought all kids love Sloppy Joe's. But not even that. Like, I grew up on eating Sloppy Joe's. That was something my mom would make. And when she would, I love a good Sloppy Joe. But this is a Best Buy, January 21st, 2022. Is there anybody else who does not like Sloppy Joe's? I'm serious. I really literally thought everybody loves Sloppy Joe's. <laughs> Um, let's see. I think those are all the food items. Uh, I think I'm going to cut it here. We're going to do a part two. So, yeah, guys, we're going to do a part two, and it's going to be all the other items that are non-food. So, while I'm at it, really quickly, don't forget about your clearance sections at your grocery store. I, I actually see a lot of people shopping, and they do not stop at their little clearance section. And I find some of the best deals in my clearance section. I have just recently picked up products that were cheaper than going to the Dollar Tree from my grocery store. So let me tell you where I was shopping. I was at Safeway Grocery Store, and when you combine using a grocery store's app along with being in their clearance section, you can get stuff really cheap. So on the Safeway app, this Kaua coffee, um, which originally priced is $8.99, it says so on the sticker there, um, it already was on sale this week or whatever, this, this last sales week, for Safeway, um, it was $4.99 on sale, all Kaua, Kaua, I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong, coffee. And so when you see when you see in Safeway that they have a 50% off coupon on something in their clearance section, it doesn't always tell you that an item actually is on sale regular, like they're down in their regular coffee aisle. This brand coffee is actually on sale for $4.99. So when you get to the register, this $8.99 coffee actually is going to take off that price and give you, because you're I'm a Safeway Club member, give me the $4.99 price. Then they scan the coupon, and I got 50% off of the $4.99. So $2.50 for 12 K-Cups of this Mocha Macadamia Nut. I thought $2.50 was a great way for me to try this flavor, but I also uh, picked up in the clearance section some Vanilla Macadamia Nut and they're like, um, it's some other roast blend that they have. Um, so I picked up three of these today for $2.50 a piece. And I had a coupon that they had on a box a long time ago for a dollar off of two. So the $7.50 I was going to pay for all three, I actually ended up paying $6.50 um, for all three. So that was great. Literally like $2 and uh, like 15 cents or something a piece um, for these. So that was a bonus. Um, just to show you other great purchases. Um, and I got this stuff for cheaper than what I would have paid at like the Dollar Tree. This is the Safeway brand um, tissue. It is called Signature Care. So this is their Signature Care tissue. There goes that 50% off coupon, which it tells me that regularly priced these were $2.49, if you could see that. Well, they were already on sale, and these have 62 ply sheets in them. And I assume maybe these were on sale because it looks like it's like a Halloween theme, fall theme. Um, and they were $1.49 off. So this already made this box of 60 tissues a dollar. The 50% off coupon brought it down to 50 cents. I could have bought all of these tissues for 50 cents today, but I only picked up three boxes of them because I've been pretty much kind of like racking up on tissues and we haven't used tissues this pandemic as I thought maybe we would. It is allergy time though. So if anybody lives in my area and you need tissues in the house, go pick these up for 50 cents from Safeway and just make sure you have the Safeway app because without their, um, or the Safeway club card, because without their club card, you're not going to get the discount. 
Um, you have to be a Safeway Club card member. And then these right here, and these bags are good. I've already opened up one box because I needed sandwich bags. This is called Open Nature. These are their resealable, resealable sandwich bags, 50 bags. It says they use, it's like, uh, they use 15% less plastic, this Open Nature company. Well, these were $2.99 um, with the sale. It was incredible. The dollar and whatever off, you mathematicians do it for me. The price that these were before the coupon, before the 50% off coupon was 60, um, 69 cents. With the 50% off coupon, I ended up paying 34 cents for 50 bags of sandwich bags, 50 sandwich bags. So just don't go past your clearance section too fast because there really are some great buys there. The one thing that I don't, um, not that I don't like, but sometimes you see something in clearance, um, and especially a Safeway, just grab it. Even if you want it, just grab it, take it to the register, let them tell you um, what the price is on it because like I said sometimes I when I bought these I didn't know these were additional off but I said I'm gonna I'm gonna see because I know it happens a lot um, so I didn't know these were marked down from this 299 because I literally I was gonna pay the dollar fifty because I really needed sandwich bags but it was a blessing to get these for 34 cents and you know I went right back to the clearance and bought all the boxes they had which were like five or six boxes so I'm good um, but I'll be coming back to you all with the part two of the haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you all are having a great holiday today. Um, I know in the past, we've definitely celebrated 4th of July. We really didn't this year. Uh, I don't think people are really even having fireworks. But if you had some, maybe they're legal where you are in your county. You're doing your own. So just enjoy your holiday. And we'll talk real soon. Have an awesome day on purpose, guys. Oh, and yeah, with that one said, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe. <laughs> Take care, everyone.